Hello and welcome to Plant Me Green TV. I'm Richard Riconti and we're out on the nursery today in late February because color is starting to pop up all around us. And we thought maybe you'd like to know what's available in case you want to get some spring color in your landscape. I have Leslie Hudson with me today to show us what we have. Mr. Hudson, thank you for joining us today. It's a pleasure, Mr. R. Glad to be here. Thank you. We're here on a beautiful spring day. And Mr. Hudson, I see you have behind us here a bunch of flowering trees and shrubs. What do you have? Well, we've got quite a few uh, things that might be interested in taking a look at today. Uh, we've got quite a few uh, flowering trees. We've got some really nice flowering cherries. We've got some whites and pinks and reds that we might, some of our customers might be interested in. We've got some beautiful magnolias blooming this time of the year. We've got uh, some purples and pinks and, you know, different shades of some of the deciduous magnolias. Uh, we also have uh, some really nice spirea that are uh, about to bloom, some bridal fruit spirea, some uh, dwarf viburnum that are really going to be fabulous here in a few weeks. Uh, we've got some uh, really nice laurel petalum, uh, got like five different flavors of laurel petalum so we could be uh, planting now. We've got uh, various uh, sundry of uh, colors of azaleas that are blooming and just coming into blooming. We even have some of the azaleas that bloom not only in the spring but they also bloom in the fall that are great. And we're at the tail end of the season of some of the uh, Camellia japonicas that are flowering, but uh, those are going to be really nice all the way through March for our area. Mr. Hudson, with all these beautiful flowering trees, are some of them going to go in the shade? Are some going to go in the sun? Are some going to grow to be a lot taller than others? How can I have, take advantage of this color in different landscape areas of my yard? Well, that's a good question, Mr. R. I think if we think, uh, and first of all, looking different groups of the trees and uh, plants that we have here today. If you take the magnolias, they're going to grow quite large, would be uh, good out in the uh, open areas, away from our homes and that type of thing. And they're going to, they can take some uh, shade, they're going to do really well in the sun though. Uh, those are going to be nice specimens and re really provide a lot of color for this time of the year. Uh, the camellias, for example, that we have here, they're going to do better in the shade, but they can also take a small amount of sun if we got some sunny areas where we'd like to have a good nice specimen there. Uh, those are on the tail end of our season right now, uh, but uh, those are going to be really nice landscape plants. Mr. Hudson, a lot of people checking out our website want to know where should they place these in their landscape? Well, Mr. R, of course, that goes to according to what kind of plant that we're planting. Uh, if you're taking some of the trees that we've got here that are blooming right now and look really spectacular, most of those are going to be nice specimen plants. They're going to be placed out away from the home in a, you know, maybe one, maybe a triple. Uh, planting arrangement or something like that that looks really swell. But some of our plants, like some of our smaller azaleas, maybe the dwarf viburnums that we have here, can be placed up uh, as a foundation plant or in a grouping up next to the home or around a land, uh, walkway or something along those effects. But we also, you know, we want to take into consideration whether we're looking for sun or shade. Uh, most of our trees here that we got are going to do better in the full sun. Uh, they can tolerate some shade though. I mean, the cherries and the uh, Magnolias we have are going to do really well in a, in, a, in a filtered shade. The azaleas are going to do better in filtered shade, but can take a certain amount of sunlight. Uh, Camellia is the same way. Uh, all of these will make really nice accent plants or really nice foundation plants. Mr. Hudson, a lot of our customers are throughout the U.S. They're in cold zones like five and in warm zones like nine. Are some of these geared more for their landscape? Uh, definitely. I mean, if you take into consideration the camellias, we're looking at a little bit more on the coastal plains where we're looking for something a little more uh, warmer temperatures, you might say. Some of the azalea varieties are going to be uh, better suited that we have here anyway. They're going to be better suited for the lower south. The magnolias, they can go on up into our colder climates much more so, as well as some of our uh, cherries. Mr. Hudson, thank you very much for your expertise today. Oh, it was a beautiful day to be here with you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for joining us today. I hope we were able to give you some ideas of adding color in your landscape. I'd like to thank Leslie Hudson for joining us today and loaning us his expertise. I'm Richard Riccanti. Check us out on the web at www.plantmegreen.com.